Well, uh, one thing for sure, I heard the train, but I did not think they were gonna bring the whole load across right away. Sure enough though, they are. However, they are going much slower now than they were yesterday when they came through here. When those cars there began rocking like crazy, I thought they were gonna derail, I really did. And if you watch that video, you will hear it in my voice. Anyway, this train is leaving now East Kingsford. Wednesday morning. And like I said, they're going pretty slow across here. Definitely not as quick as they were yesterday. I wonder if uh, they watched that video. Yeah, they're gonna crawl across this now. I honestly didn't think I would uh, be seeing a train yet. But they must have gotten crews down here early this morning. Maybe uh, maybe they're down there now to monitor as the train goes across. I saw a few comments asking about like these cars right here. Look at the curve. See that curve on them? I don't know if they're designed like that or made like that or uh, why they're kind of curved in there. I mean, they're flat on the bottom but curved up on top. Maybe it's just the way they stack them. And check this out. This one has an airbag in between stuffed in there. That one too, actually it looks like a lot of them do. All right, well, I'm gonna run home, grab my coffee, grab my radio, I don't know if I'll need it or not. Grab my car keys. Let's, uh, let's head down towards Wisconsin. Somebody tried to tell me that that rocking motion these lumber cars had yesterday that I caught on video. He tried to say that's completely normal, happens all the time, nothing to worry about. Which is weird because I haven't filmed it in like four years. I mean, yes, they rock. They do. Look at them down there. There, they are rocking, but they're not violently rocking. And what's called a harmonic rock. Very dangerous. Anyway. Let's head over to Wisconsin. Road work ahead. One lane road ahead. Plague man ahead. What's going on here? I'm just curious if that was something to do with the train tracks or something. I don't see any workers anywhere. Don't see the train yet either. I beat it. It. Yeah, I stopped and came back. Besides, I hear the train to my right. Let's come over here and look at these ties that uh, they got set down here. Yeah, I thought they were new when I came by before, but obviously looking at them now, they are far from new. That's weird, isn't it? Look at, uh, look at the pits in them right there. What do you... What do you think about that? Rocks? Rocks were uh, shoved into them so hard they created those indentations? Wild, eh? 
Anyway, I hear the train back there. I hear him. So we're just waiting on him to get here. They just came around the corner down there. I love getting this shot when the lights and bells start. Don't you? We're sitting at County N. Just across from Michigan. Speed limit here is 45 miles an hour. County O is 55 miles an hour. I parked on this side, so after the engine goes by, we'll jump in the car and get up to County O before they do. But by now, the back of their train has cleared the Menominee Bridge. I'm surprised these haven't set off yet. There they go. Working hard, eh? You hear him? Boy, you got her cranked up. Just a day late, but at least it's moving. I mean, this is normal rock. That's normal rocking right there. Absolutely, they rock like that all the time. Alright, well let's head on south to Pembine. We'll catch this train coming out the other side of the forest. Made it to Pembine. Fifty degrees already, how do you like that? Normally I sit on the right, on the other side of the bank there. But you know, I'm all about getting different shots. Slightly different. I would park on the other side of the highway, but there's not really a, a good place for me to go sit. So I'm off onto the gravel on the side of the highway here on this side. Hey, 
Yeah, we'll catch them through Pembine. Take a run through Hamburg. Might even make it to Wasaki. I don't know. I'm not really sure on uh, what I want to do today. I have no obligations. I have nothing, nowhere else to be. One's up in the back, just like the rock. Be a bad spot in the track over there. Flip the car around and head south, shall we? Just in time. Just in time. Got her. They're late to a date. Don't you wish they moved like this by my house? Oh man, that would be wild. right about 55 miles an hour I couldn't judge what that train is going unless I slow down and match the speed but I'd think about 30 35 
I love listening to 501. Purrs like a kitten. Or a wild cat. I don't know. waving at you. Did you see me? Same train, same cars, but you know, after that rocking action on that last one, thought we'd catch it heading south and see what's up with that. Wow, it looks like they had a fire over here. Maybe it was a prescribed burn, but that's all that whole hill right there is burned off all the way to the tracks. All the way back around. Huh. We are in Amberg, Wisconsin. start slowing down to go across that bridge across the river at Dave's Falls and if you don't recall Dave's Falls I just made a video about that a few days ago or maybe a, a week or so ago but go back and find that video pretty cool shot over the bridge oh yeah this is Bell crossing road right where old 38 comes along I think after the train passes I'm gonna go back across this crossing and take a left right there on old 38 and we'll follow it along with the train as it continues south towards Wasaki Wisconsin Just waiting for them to start, then we'll walk up here a little bit. What do you guys think of those fake bells? I don't like them. Do you like them? I mean, who really likes fake bells? Man, it sure starts a long time before the train gets here. Faster, we need faster speed. That's loud. That's loud. Why are we so loud? 
That's why I tell my bird in the morning, why are you so loud? If you've never heard a parrot screech, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> Parrots can, uh, uh, some, some compare it to a fire alarm. The real high-pitched fire alarm. The ones that kind of hurt your eardrums. Yeah, that's what a parrot does. Why are they going so slow here? They've no, normally gone faster over this section. guys like these longer videos I mean there are times I'm only gonna film in one location or I'm gonna post shorter videos but how do you guys like these longer chase videos I especially wanted to chase this one after what happened in Kingsford so Fortunately, I'm only going uh, as far as Wasaki, I believe. Oh, they're picking up more speed. Just to my left, 141 is uh, further to the left. This is old Highway 38. So we're gonna we're gonna follow this down. I like taking old roads and ways I haven't gone before. So we'll keep on cruising this way. I'm at 25. We're right about 25 miles an hour. All right. See the road curves to the left up here. That's not good. in front of it. I have no idea where this road goes, but I'm pretty sure it goes out in front of the train tracks again. I don't know where, or when, or how. When we get there, I'll let you know. Yeah, I knew it came back across. Oh boy. Old Highway 38 comes back across. Should be a pretty cool shot from here. Had a good conversation with a gentleman when I was filming in Amberg. He was from Kakana driving up to his uh, camp 
up in Dunbar. Anyway, he was there in the red truck in Hamburg, and uh, yeah, we sat and talked for five minutes. He said he's been following me uh, for many years. Pretty cool. Very cool, in fact. Anyway, I hear the train. There it is. I figured this would be a fun chase here. Another new road, a new crossing. I love that song. and so are we. We're gonna get there first though. Looks like the Wisconsin DNR there with the bulldozer ready to go. With an extreme fire hazard right now. They've gotta be ready at a moment's notice. There's a no burn right now in northern Wisconsin and upper Michigan due to the lack of snow. I mean, look at the grass. You could drop anything right now and it'd catch fire. back over to my car here a little bit. Just hear the engine winding out. through Wasaki. Doing eight miles an hour, in case you're wondering. Let this car pass behind me. 
Yeah, nice slow journey here. Kick it up a notch. cars that were over here in Wasaki are now gone. Another eight miles or so, they'll be in Cribbits. And from there, this train will probably keep going all the way to Green Bay. I'm just so happy to see that it moved, that they took care of that issue this morning, or last night, or whenever they did. Now it might be a couple of days before the train comes back, but there are 10 gondolas sitting in Pembine for Alter Metal, so they're going to want to get those in there pretty soon. Oh boy. Oh, come on now. Really? They're going to stop right here? And I was just going to tell you to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and hit that share, but now we're going to have to turn around and go back this way because, yeah, you heard air. I heard air too. Maybe they're going to come up here and grab some more cars off the of siding. There are some tanker cars sitting up here, so that could be what they're doing. <laughs> Is it derail off? No, it's not. You better stop before we get there.
Oh, he's gonna have to walk back. Going back and releasing the brakes. What are you doing? Three man crew, wow.
Have a great day. Yeah, I turned off the camera just for a second so we could have a little talk. I don't, I don't always like talking to the railroad guys with the camera running. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's just not cool. Anyway, he told me that it was a broken rail yesterday that stopped them. They could see the broken rail. But he did say uh, you would be real surprised on how a train can make it across a broken rail without a problem. I also told him about the uh, harmonic rock that was going on. He said, yeah, that happens. Depends on the car sometimes. I let him know it's been about four years since I've seen it there along Green. But just so he's aware, knows, you know. Always good to uh, keep people informed, I guess. cars did they add on now? How many cars do they got total? Hey, it's funny they have a three-man crew that <laughs> I didn't even uh, I didn't even know he was there until I heard him. Anyway, let's get up to the next crossing and catch one more. Yeah, let's go get one more crossing. Oh, MT. I do not want to slow down for this. I don't want to get stuck. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. I got it floored right now. Oh, oh, oh. oh it gets worse here. Look at this. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh, my car is going to be so dirty after this. Oh, here's another one. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a little sketch. That Jalo Road and 141. Now you guys gotta count cards again. Cause they're not the same. cars heading back south to get filled well now I'm gonna say it thanks for watching now you know about the track, what it was. Apparently it was an easy fix, just had to weld it together. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and make a comment below. We'll have to watch out the next few months for uh, 
some more harmonic rocking and look that up look up harmonic rocking you will learn a lot especially about how a train can derail if it gets severe enough it happens just kind of hope I don't film. I kind of hope I do film it, but for their sake, I hope I don't film it. All right, guys, I am heading back to back home. You guys have a great, great day, hey? Eh?